All right, go ahead and jump scare me. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back. It's been a minute, but uh, I'm excited to hop right back into Fears to Fathom, Woodbury Getaway. This is the last episode of five, which I've already played the first four, and they were all really good. So I'm actually super excited to get into this last one. So let's just go ahead and hop in. Eat a coffee to get done with the day. Okay. I can zoom. I do have a very slow sprint. Somebody's in here typing though. Oh shit. Okay, choose your drink. Well, I said I wanted coffee, so I don't think. Uh, well, I guess. Uh, energy bowl, I guess. Oh yeah, just throw it on the ground. Yeah. All right. Uh, right mouth. Oh, open it first. Scroll up to open. Oh, there we go. Oh, the good old drinking animation. But I said I wanted coffee. Alright, we're gonna just throw that. And then we're gonna prepare our coffee. Oh my gosh, that animation is crazy. I like how everything that I'm doing is working. I was not expecting that. <laughs> what the fuck? This is crazy. <laughs> Put a lid on it. No. Oh. Oh, no. I want a, str I want a straw. Oh. 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 Okay. Cool. I need to hear what's over here. It's not like somebody's over here. Hello? Oh. What do you want, Sid? I'm trying to get this done. I was just checking to see, or checking if you need anything. Can't these clients ever make up their minds? I know. What keeps you here so late again? Just wrapping up, I guess. I hope that's not my killer. Oh, you done? Okay, we'll just throw it on a. Well, I'm, I'm gonna do the right thing and throw it away. All right, let's continue. Oh yeah, I forgot I need to use the restroom. I don't. Man, I'm assuming I'm a man. I'm a woman. No, okay. Now I'm really scared <laughs> because uh. I feel like that guy in there is going to try to hurt me. Oh, my gosh. For an office building, these are some hideous toilets. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, that works. POV. I'm a woman. <laughs> hmm? Hello? Hey, hey. No! Oh, fuck. <laughs> Whoa, man, I'm sorry. Didn't know anyone was in there. Oh my gosh. You almost gave me a heart attack, literally. I am so sorry. Should have knocked before I came in, but there isn't usually anyone in here this late. No, it's fine. You're just doing your job. Again, I'm sorry. I usually do knock, but I am a little bit frustrated tonight. Must have slipped my mind. Ugh, someone keeps throwing coffee cups on the floor all over the office. It's been happening for weeks. Hey, I threw mine away. I threw mine away. I chose to do the right thing. Well, I need to get back to, to it. 
don't want to be here all night picking up coffee cups. Have a good night. Yeah, don't ever fucking do that shit again, dude. Thank you, sir. You scared the shit out of me. I ain't gonna lie. He scared the absolute dog shit out of me. Oh, phone's ringing. Holy smokes. Ooh, there's people outside. Hello, hello! <laughs> hey, Harp, it's Mike. Hey, Mike. I've been trying to call your cell for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Is everything all right? Uh, my phone's been oh, acting up lately. Oh, I was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. <laughs> uh. No? It even cut out on the client kidding. earlier. <laughs> um. Um. Uh, anyway, uh, what are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. Uh, just Damn, more overtime? That sounds rough. Good thing I called to cheer you up. No, you sound creepy, my dude. Um, about our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. And Nora. Nora? I have a daughter? I was gonna do it after work. No worries, Harper. I don't want to stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. Hey. Hey? I was thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. It'd be nice to catch up. You know, save on gas and relive the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. Nice. Sounds good. Great. Uh, I guess I'll let you get back to work then. Oh, uh, wait. One more thing. Yes? When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under $100 a night. Okay. Nora and I were talking, and she's been on a pretty tight budget. Things haven't been going very well for her. I could just hang up on him? Oh, my goodness. Sure, I'll find something affordable. It'll be just like the old college days. You always had a knack for finding the best spots. Okay, so Nora's our friend. I should really make, make the booking now. Right, right, of course. Sorry for yapping. I'm just excited, I guess. All right, talk to you later, Harp. Okay. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing, but we're gonna go to the browser here. Uh, uh, hotel. Oh, pfft, that is not what I'm typing. <laughs> oh man, rent a cabin. Search. Uh. Under a hundred dollars a night, three fifty. So this is like their Airbnb. That was a hundred bucks. That was pretty cool. Like, what the fuck? Okay, I guess we're going with this one. It's pretty nice. Three guests, two bedroom, two beds, one and a half bath. All right, your booking is confirmed. Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds, if not thousands of stories sent daily. So I'll give you a basic rundown of something that happened to me. I'm sorry if some of, some of it isn't written, is written weird, but I was rushed. What happened? When I was in my early 20s, I worked at a big consulting firm in, this, in my city. Life at the firm was a constant juggle of deadlines, client meetings, and trying to prove my worth, which didn't leave much room for leisure, let alone a social life. The job paid well, sure, but the expense of my mental peace, but of the expense of my mental peace. I'm Sydney Harper, and this story takes place during one of those days. One of, one of my college friends, Mike, suggested that we take a weekend getaway to a rural Vermont, which sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work. And my other friend Nora was quick to jump on board as well. The plan was simple. We rent a small cabin, close our shift early on Friday, leave, and be back on Monday. Mike came to pick me up. Holy 
shit. It's getting interesting. Come on. Come on. Two days later. Oh, man. We're here. Hey, Mike. You got a PSP? I see you. How do I answer that? How do I answer that? I guess I'll hang up. I guess. Pulling into a parking garage now. Oh, there we go. Okay. So we're pulling into the parking garage. Wait, who is this? Is that a random guy? Afternoon, quite chilly today, eh? Oh, okay. I haven't seen you around. Okay, yeah, I don't want to talk to this guy. Oh, is that a uh, Mike? I guess. Why the fuck? <laughs> Why does he look like Nate Shot? What the heck? Okay. Um, heart. That's still how you hug people? Why don't you hug me like you missed me? I guess a long hug, I guess. You look good. So do you, Mike. You can just throw your stuff in the back and we'll get on our way. Okay. Oh, oh damn. Where's my stuff? throw it that works all right then harp are you ready to hit the road let's do this all right get in the gear man get in the gear so is he gonna drive me around Four twenty six PM. He is driving me around. Okay, cool. I was it was starting to snow. Hope he's a good driver. This was actually a gift from the, my coworker Ricky. He said he found it at the garage sale and it reminded him of me somehow. Okay. Isn't it weird we used to dream about escaping our college and now here we are? <sighs> Trying to escape from the life we wanted to live. Funny how that works. Change is just hard. Like trying to uh, adjust to the new job. How's your new job going? We're working on this project that uses machine learning to predict market trends. It's pretty cutting edge stuff. Sounds like you're shaping up the future. Not quite Tony Stark yet, but I'll take You know, I never understood what to do consult what to cons consultants even do. We consult? <laughs> what what was that? I mean I seen a school bus. Did you see that? See what? It's a school bus. Maybe it's a project. Brr. You know some you know someone's idea of turning into a, into a tiny home on wheels or something. I've read I've read people do that on the internet. Okay. Can I Is this who texted me? We're on our way. We should be around six PM. The snow slowed us down quite a bit. Thanks for Oh snap, that was close. You know? I read on the internet that the Native American lore, seeing a deer cross your path is like getting a message from the universe. Alright. Okay, please confirm when you check in on the trap safe. Trap safe. 
I wanted to, like, oh shit. You good, homie? You good, homie? Why, why, why is your shit shaking? How far is it now? Should be about an hour and a half from here. What? We got a ways to go, you know? Driving through the snow kind of feels like we're traveling through the intergalactic space. Look at the way the snowflakes swirl around the headlights. It's like stars and galaxies rushing past us. Why is he talking like that? Um, it's kind of beautiful. Dairy Mart. Yo, Hart, check that out. What am I checking out? Moe's Pizza. Sounds pretty good. You know, Hart, I gotta tell you, these new GPS systems are something else. This pizzeria is exactly where it appeared on my GPS. It's like living in the future. I'm so hungry, I think I should, I could eat a whole pizza myself. Me too. All right then, Harp. Operation Pizza Pit Stop is a go. Prepare to land. Hopefully, this pizza is good. I don't know what I'm doing here, but... Oh, damn! Available balance? What are you waiting for? Hang on, bitch. I want some more money. Let's see how much money I can pull out of here. <laughs> this is crazy. I mean, I have $4,000 at my disposal. Now I got $400. Oh my gosh, you look so ugly. Come come in, Harp. Thank you. Exhaust. This just in. Reports of a strong snowstorm coming towards Woodbury tonight. Residents are recommended to stay Ooh. indoors and keep warm during this time. Hey, how you doing? You want order? How you doing, my... That is not who I... Oh, I don't want to talk to you. I'm as good. I'm as good as man as I can be, my friend. Want to grab a slice? No, just looking for a little help. Good luck. <laughs> I'm not helping you, buddy. Oh, evening, folks. Looks like this the colds got everyone craving pizza tonight. Yep. You find folks know what you want to eat. Well, we'll get three slices each. I'll go with pepperoni, cheese, and veggie. I will go with a margarita, veggie, and cheese. Any drinks for the for you folks? That should be that should cover us. Just the pizza today, thanks. All right, then six hot slices coming right up. That'll be twenty-two fifty. Gosh! Did I pay for it? Why is he staring at me like that? Order number is 27. Just grab a C and we'll call you when it's, when it's your pizza is ready. Yeah. I really want to turn. Oh. oh, why do I have to stare at your face? A long sniff. It smells so good in here. Oh, I can hear a dude chewing behind me. Uh! Oh, you guys are going to hate me. I swear I'll get on the road as soon as I can. But something last minute popped up. I'm not going to bore you with all of the details. The long and short of it is one of my clients needs a last minute change. Their payments are about the only thing keeping the lights on. I hate to leave so late, but I've got to keep them happy. I'll have this logo done before you know it and be on my way. 
Oh, she ain't even left yet. Oh, man. So that means I'm going to be by myself with this creep. Uh, did you listen to Nora's voice message in the group? Yes. <laughs> Looks like she'll be late. That's a bummer. I guess we'll have to start the fun without her. What can we do? Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. What do you mean? Uh, order number 27, your folks. You folks are right here. All right, this dude eating in my ear is pissing me off. Hey, buddy, I'm going to need you to calm it down. Calm it down. Gosh. Oh, damn. All right, folks. Folks here. All right, you folks here are set? Bro, I've never seen that word in my life. I know it's slang, but gosh, thank you. Oh, he's eating in my ear and it's fucking pissing me off. All right, we're gonna start with the margarita. Oh, I can't do it. Uh, oh, damn, this pizza slaps. I can't believe Nora is missing out on this bomb ass pizza. I know, right? Ugh, it's giving me chills. As fuck. <laughs> oh shit! Hey there, my friends. Hello there. I saw y'all pull up in the drive in that nice old truck. That's right. Not to be, not to bother or anything, but I was heading down the road myself. Seems like we might have uh, been going the same direction. Y'all mind if I hitch a ride with you? Uh, where's your car? <laughs> Who needs a car when you there is a there are fine friends like you to pass the time with. Y'all yeah, wouldn't even know I was there, quiet as a church mouse, and twice and twice as nice. So what do y'all say? Care to give this free spirit a ride down a snowy road? Sure, you can come with us. Hold on a sec. <laughs> Don't you think we need to discuss this? Sure, feel free to jump in. I'm not sure if we can have extra space for another passenger. <laughs> yeah, he's right. Only two seats in the truck. Surely you can find just a little bit of room for me. I can ride in the middle. Hell, I'll ride in the bed. It's my friend's car. I'm sorry. You gotta be shitting me, lady. No space. I know there's a middle seat. You scared of me or something? You ain't too kind, are you? Unkind people meet unkind <laughs> kindness themselves. You best be careful out there. Oh, is that a threat? Are you, <laughs> Are you threatening us? Oh, shit. No, no, no. You got me all wrong. Sorry. I'm just cold and tired is all. Yeah, thanks. That guy was a dick. Okay, not really. He was being nice, but we were we were, we were honestly dicks. Are you serious? How are you gonna let a stranger ride with us in the middle of nowhere? He seemed. Uh, I was just trying to be helpful, I guess. Yeah. Well, sometimes helping can put you in a bad situation. All right, Dad. <laughs> Where do you go? Oh, he's walking. Oh, it's all finished eating. Damn, Harp, you actually eat the crust? What's wrong with eating a crust? Come on now. It's kind of wasteful not to, don't you think? I guess, but you wouldn't really eat the peel of an orange, would you? It's not the same thing. The crust is just as good as the pizza. Like the... Oh shit. Holy, that was good. I know. Alright then. Are you ready to hit the road? Maybe we can beat the worst of the snow. Give me the keys. Yes, sir! Harp, the weather, the weather is awful. Why don't, what is this guy doing? <clears throat> Why don't you drive part of the way home? Want to drive? Hmm, take a break while I drive. I'm afraid of what kind of break you're going to give me, Harp. Give me the keys. Fine. But there's an, under one condition. What is it? I get first choice of, of bedrooms when or if 
we get there. Deal. I get to drive. Let's fucking go. Um. Oh, what day for my Right on my side. I like the words out of mouth, seems to lie on my life. I'm connected to a heart like the moon and the tides. And besides, no one can take Here a rubber out of the Why is the music so loud? Come together well my legs fell asleep no one second. Trying to be the best that okay. I could. Thank you, because that music was starting to get fucking annoying. It's very cold at night. It was a quaint little house in a quiet neighborhood. I mean, yeah, this is decent. This is not too bad. I fuck with it. Can I go in the basement? Okay, uh, I, I, I probably can go in the basement. But... Oh, hold mouse button to slot. Oh. Uh, 2. What the fuck you're hiding behind the damn door, my dude? Welcome to my home, sweet home. What a lovely young couple. No, 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 we're just... We're not a couple. We're just friends. Oopsie daisy, silly me. We didn't expect to have anyone be here. Oh, um... I was looking out for my cat earlier, and I just remembered to... The TV has been on the frizz here. Like, bro. 
just thought I would stop by and try to get the working, get it working again since the last few folks left a bad word for it. You know, they say treat your guests like family. A family doesn't go without TV. Speaking of that, now that you folks are here, let me show you around the home suite or the sweet home. Right now, I'd be a bad owner if I didn't give you the grand tour. Okay. Couldn't open the door. So he's probably going to tell me I can't go in there. Look at that face, man. Holy smokes. Look at that. Um, nothing to worry about down here. Just a water heater and some old storage stuff. If you ever, if it ever stops working, just hit the button at the bottom. The pilot light will fire right up, and you will be back in business. Okay. Can I hit the pilot light? Oh shit! Are you coming, miss? Yes. Calm the fuck down. I just want to look. Are you sure? Why am I running so fast now? Hey, you got an easel, a vice. Okay. Hey, sir, what's the deal with this room over there? Nothing you two need to concern yourselves with. It's kind of... I kind of use the basement as storage. Renters don't need the space. They really ought to keep upstairs. Okay, okay, well, I was just curious. Let's move on. Oh, damn. Oh, okay. Did, you, did I mention? Well, no, maybe I ought to keep it to myself. The fella I brought this house from, bought this house from, well, told me his mother died down there. Oh, okay. So, so guests have reported hearing voices at night. Said they could hear something shuffling. Or, sh yeah, shuffling around down here. Not, not to be scared of you, not to scare you folks, but. If I were you, I wouldn't really step down here. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. Looks like it uh, looks on your faces. <laughs> Come on now. I'm just I'm just joking. Are you though? At this point my creep meter was quietly pinging around six out of ten. Alright folks. Snow's starting to pick up. I'm gonna hit the road now. Gotta find that damn cat. Yeah, I don't want to talk to him anymore. By the way, what was the name on the booking? I must be getting old. It's Sydney. Ah, uh, Sydney. That's right. A pretty name for a pretty girl. Oh, is it just me or that dude is super weird? Very weird. Anyway. Let's go see if there's anything on good on TV. Actually, I'm gonna take a quick shower. Cool, I'll find something to watch while you're in there. <laughs> Let me know if it feels like you're under a waterfall. What a weird guy. Thanks, see you in a bit. Okay, well, let's, let's go ahead and take this waterfall shower here. I hate the positioning of the shower, though. Take, yeah, just take a shower, no clothing, with the flashlight. Let's do it. Oh, shit. Fuck you. Hey, Harp, check this out. I found the fishing rod in the shed. Planning to catch dinner? Now that's... Now that you've mentioned it. Now that you've mentioned, that would be a pretty epic addition to this trip. Let's do it. Hell yeah, follow me. There's a rod, another rod in the shed, so we can both give it a shot. Carbs like cheese. Put the carper biting today. Oh, sh oh shit, oh shit! Okay, I see. Hey, keep it. There's a carp there. Always more. 
Oh, fuck yeah. Ugh, big, oh, well, never mind. I thought it was gonna be a big cash, but not the case. Oh, no. It's homeboy. What does he want? We did leave the door open, and then I also seen that one dude. The fridge is open. Why? Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. I see. So, some oil, extra virgin olive oil, ginger paste, salt, uh, black pepper, uh, paprika, uh, Italian seasoning, ginger paste, and then some yogurt. There we go. Oh, 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 ah! Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Do you mind throwing the fish in the marinade in the casserole while I chop these vegetables? Sure, as long as you don't like try to like harass me like that again. Like, holy smokes, my boy. That was crazy. Alright, so we need uh, two, two carps. Okay, marinade. And then uh, veggies. Whenever you're ready, my boy. Could you add the veggies? Yes. I read it. It needs to go for 30 minutes at 400. Okay. Yeah, it looks looks pretty good. Those carp are going to taste amazing. While we wait, while we wait for it to cook, how about play some board games? I saw some in the room next to the living room. Guess we could. Just grab whatever catches your eye. Can't wait to see what you pick. I saw some in the room next to the living room. Okay, let me see. Bro, chill out. A Ouija board? Huh. We're playing with the Ouija board. Of course. Why not? We're definitely playing this. We're playing with this. Oh, snap. Is that a Ouija board? Yes. Molly once told me how she contacted her dead grandma through one of these boards. I can't stand her spiritual bullshit. Hey, remember how the dude was acting weird in the basement? What if we tried this down there? That's a great idea. All right, let's go. Oh, shit. I was creeped out of... I was creeped out, apparently. But now, all of a sudden, I'm just down. Watch out for spiders down here. Okay. Perfect table to do this. Oh, wow. I was not expecting him to pick that up. Oh, shit. You know what will make this even more spookier? Let's turn all these lights off. Turn these lights and see if... Turn off all of these lights to see if this really works. Anyways, do you know how this works? Yes, I think. Okay. Alright then, you go first. Alright. Who am I talking to? Uh, are there any spirits that want to talk to us? It didn't even, it's just moving randomly. Yes. Whispers, no way. Are you moving it? That wasn't me. Okay, I got one too. Go ahead. How's the afterlife treating you, buddy? Did you live in this house? My turn. 
Come on, buddy. Give us a sign. Let us know you're here. Oh, crap. Oh, shit. He's just going. I'm not usually one to believe in ghosts and spirits. I can't fucking see. What a bit. He's finna jump scare me. Why am I short? <laughs> oh, I'm crouched. There's some freaky shit going on down there, Harp. Why did you leave me? You mean weird how you left me? What the hell, Harp? I figured you would have moved your ass, though. Would have been nice if you had had checked. <laughs> yeah. Uh, have you ever heard of fight or flight? <laughs> Sydney, I'm sorry. Okay. Whatever. That little fucker just left me down there to die. Alright, this can fuck off over right here. My man is a soldier. He pulled that shit out with no other mitts. I think you show I think our show is about to come on. You want to watch TV while we eat? Sure. He made his plate before me. Bro, this guy is a fucking dick. He grabbed his plate and I, he should have made my plate first. That would have been like, you know, courteous of him. The river's like a He's making water everything. park. So first, we are going to prepare the asparagus. Season these with a lot of salt. Salt is good for the bones. After letting these simmer in the salt bath, we can start making the chocolate. And take a couple cocoa beans. Ah, uh, yes, the cocoa beans need to be blended into the sauce with a little bit of vinegar. Gotta keep that fancy flavor in there. The next thing we prepare is the mayonnaise. We stir fry this in a pan with Irish. Oh, that was some damn, was some damn fun food. Twice as good since this we caught the fish like ourselves. Shit. But here you are, here anyway, listening. We to make a great team, Harp. Instructions. Hey, anyway, I need to mayonnaise. check my emails real quick. Left my laptop. We, we got it injected with. A little anesthesia to make sure it doesn't work. revolt against us. It's not work. I'm just waiting on shit me details for my new DS. Wow. After doing I'll be right that, back. We mix all, right, all I'll the clean ingredients up together in a tray and place it inside the oven. Okay, and while that's cooking, we can when start is Nora gonna get here? Gasoline soaked ramen. Now, huh? This is extremely hard to Dish only for experienced cooks. Gasoline soaked ramen is crazy. Pouring the gasoline into this pot. Make sure not to use whole gasoline since it's really bad for you. Maybe use 2%. Where's my kitchen I think there's some Do not under use my bed. diesel. Right now. Can you so come upstairs. Oh, fuck off, Mike. Fuck off, Mike. All right, go ahead and jump scare me. <laughs> gotcha. What the hell, Mike? <laughs> I totally got you. Fuck yeah, you did, my boy. That was fun, wasn't it? Uh, whatever. Come on, it was just a joke. You want to go for the next round? Next round? How about a game of hide and seek? I'll give you back for this, whatever you say, Sydney Harper. All right, you're on. I'll count to ten. Wow, I decided to hide in the basement of all places. Bye, Grandma. Stay in your room. I don't want you wandering around the house again. Question is, is hide where? Decide to hide in this snook under the stairs. Where? Oh shit.
I got you, bastard. That wasn't even a challenge. I figured you would be good at this since I've never found you in the city. Maybe you need to look harder. Hmm. Alright, my turn to hide now. You better close your eyes and start counting. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Three Mississippi. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Gotcha. I should have checked it first. Hang on, Harp. I think I heard something upstairs. Okay, you're going to try this again? No kidding, Sydney. I really heard something sliding up there. You didn't hear it? I swear on my life I heard something. I see the attic access down here, down in here. Or, or wow. Does, I see the attic access door in here. Okay. Let's go in there then. Couldn't reach. Okay. Where's the stepstool? Gosh damn it. Where's my flashlight? I can't see. You coming, right? No? Okay. Hello? Oh shit, it's a cat. Okay. What's up, kitty? What's up, kitty? Senior, are you okay? What was up there? It was just a cat. Oh, that's the relief. I was worried there was... There for a minute. I think she was hungry. Oh, yeah. Maybe we can give her one of our... Uh, one of uh, the carp after we come and find you again. Okay. Um, I decided to hide in the tool shed in the backyard. Okay. Oh, there you are. Bro, you can't see me. Damn, Harp. It took me a while to figure out <laughs> you left the house. Anything worth doing? Well, my turn. I'm getting tired. Look, I'll hide in the house. We're headed back anyway. You'll find me and we'll go to bed. Okay. He gonna try to hit me with one more jump scare, I swear. Ah! Holy shit. What's going on? What happened? Well, hey there. Why the hell are you back in here again? I'm fixing the fossil. You got a problem with that? You should have told us. Miss, this is my house, and I don't need to check in with y'all every time I fix something. I've never seen anyone fix a faucet with a hammer before. Yeah, ever fixed many? You have you? <laughs> you ever fixed many faucets yourself, young man? Didn't think so. So I'd imagine you don't know what tools you need. How long have you been here? Just got in a couple minutes ago. If you hear anything before that, it must have been the old lady. Remember? Hey, hey, hey. Look, we need to go to bed now. You asking me to leave, miss? No, Rick, she, she's being polite. We rented this house. Wow, we rented this house and would like to have it to ourselves. Oh man, that, uh, I, we don't really want to have to call the law enforcement. Mike, please handle this. Okay. 
Ain't no cops in Woodbury, son. You think they're going to arrest a homeowner for fixing the faucet? I just, I just, uh, wow. I was just doing some work, and if you can't handle that, then you, <laughs> it's your problem, not mine. You know what? If you folks don't like me fixing the faucet, I'll leave it to you. Or I'll leave you to it. Okay, kiss my ass, boy. I don't know why the fuck you in here. Still don't know where Nora is. That is her name, right? Nora? I don't remember. I can't pull up my phone. Oh. After locking the door, we debated what to do. We agreed that there was something off about Rick from the start. It seemed like he enjoyed making excuses to come over unannounced. In the end, we decided Rick was weird, but probably harmless. We attributed his behaviors to an extreme lack of social awareness. Look, we already drove all the way out here. Let's just enjoy ourselves, Mike said. But by this time, I was feeling really tired. I decided to get some rest. 11.39 p.m. Please tell me our friend is here. Oh shit, dude, Harper, are you still awake? Hard to sleep when it's knocking on the door. Do you mind if I come in? I'd like to talk about something. Sure. You scared the fuck out of He scared the shit out of me. What do you want to talk about? Are you going to talk to me? The storm is starting to get really bad, and I can hardly see the truck even in the driveway. Hope the is okay. She'll be just fine, Sandy. Don't worry. I'm here to keep you safe. That's nice of you, Mike. Hey, it's no problem at all. Guys are supposed to watch over people they care about, right? What a day, huh? This wasn't exactly how I thought our getaway was going to go, Sandy. I know, right? Can you believe that that guy just keeps wandering around the house like he owns the place. He does own the place. You know exactly what I meant. Sydney, he shouldn't be just, he shouldn't just barge into the place whenever he wants. He rented the damn house. I mean, the guy is probably harmless, but I'm frustrated. Me too. I really need to sleep now, Mike. Huh? Ooh, that's a creepy spark. Why don't you come and sit by me? Okay. Wait, wait. Don't you try any sly shit, my boy. Art, you know. I miss this. Us just talking. It's been too long. You know. You don't have to sleep alone tonight if you don't want to. Mike, where is this coming from? Would you be doing this if Nora was here? like you don't remember our trip to Oregon. I remember it was pretty awkward. It didn't start out awkward, though. Mike, we had a lot to drink. Things happened. They sure did. Nora. Oh. Uh, okay. There should be. I'm hoping to make it happen again. Oh, Mike, I don't know what to say. Just let me worry about these, about the details, Sydney. I think I'm about 70 miles away from Woodbury and my stinking tire just blew out. <laughs> it's snowing and I'm on the side of the road on Highway 11 near Killington. There's a sign by the side of the road. It's hard to see. I, I think it says Kent Pond. The snow is like half a foot deep and I can't get the lug nuts off the tire. <laughs> I hate to ask, but can you two come get me? Gosh! That's fucked. 
What a timing, huh? But I guess we can't leave Nora stranded. Let me get dressed and we we meet downstairs. No, Sydney, you stay here and I'll get some sleep. And get some sleep. There's no sense of both of us going out, going at both of us freezing our asses off. That's really nice, Mike. I always like doing nice things for you, Sydney. Please be careful. Now I'm gonna be here by myself. We'll finish talking about this later, okay? Get some red, good rest and stay warm. You really feel like we have to. Oh, shit. Oh. We couldn't have gone to bed without locking up our door, okay? First of all, is the power on? Hey, oh, shit. <laughs> hey, why don't you get some rest while I'm gone? Are you sure it's safe to drive in this weather? Don't worry, I've driven in worse. Besides, Noah's probably freaking out more than you are right now. Or, yeah, the more than you right now, man. Yeah, you're probably right. Look, make sure you take care of yourself, all right? Lock all the doors. Before I go, how about a hug? I mean, just in case you're asleep when I get back, I kind of need one right now. Through the door. Oh, my goodness. Sweet dreams. Get some sleep, Sydney. Drive safe, Mike. All right. Well, I can't see, so... And I lost the flash. All right, let me guess. 3 a.m. Somebody's knocking on the door. I told myself things would get better if I could just get some rest. Nora always knew how to cheer me up, and I needed it more by the minute. With her arriving soon, I decided to rest in the meantime. 12.39 a.m. What rest did I get? <laughs> oh. Please tell me this is our friend, Nora. Someone was at the front door. Ooh, shit. I saw you there, my friend. Please open the door. I'm freezing to death out here. Oh, no. The realization of the song I saw last night was horrific. Oh, shit. Oh. Uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I mean, I could open the door. Hello? Look, friend, I know it ain't an ideal banging on your door in the middle of the night, but I am in a bad spot here. I was counting on a ride from some friends, but they are running behind, and I won't be here for about two hours more. Okay, you can sit on the porch while you wait. Thanks, but I was hoping you would let me wait inside while, until my friends get here to get me. You're not coming in. End of story. Are you fucking kidding me? You're gonna let me freeze to death out here? I didn't make you go hiking in a snowstorm. You should have. I should. I should have known you would be a big, a big, a big bitch here as you were at the pizza joint. What? think I didn't see you and your little boyfriend fishing in the creek yeah I mean I saw you my guy earlier I figured maybe you'd give you give me a chance this time but looks like you're still unkind get out of here or I call the cops ain't no cops around here speaking of I don't see your fella's truck out here either I'm dialing 911 now fine suit yourself Oh, what? But let me tell you something. You get what's coming to you for leaving me out here. Karma's a bitch, my friend. Okay? 
man at the door seemed irrelevant compared to how tired I was. Didn't feel safe opening the door. I couldn't keep my eyes open, so I had to go. Let's, okay. So. Can I get some sleep, please? Oh, shit. What the fuck is this? At this point, I had no choice but to call for help. Yes, Rick. Rick, I'm sorry to bother you again, but uh, there's someone we met driving down there in a van. Doors started threatening me. I'm pretty scared, and I think I move it around outside the house. Can you please look since you live close? <laughs> Please be who I think it is. That was Rick. Despite how strange Rick has been, seeing him was a relief. Open the door, miss. It's me. Oh, shit. What the hell's going on here? Oh, thank you. Thank God you're here. Explain the situation. Yeah, I came as quickly as I could. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. Did you kill him? By the way, why'd you walk closer? By the way, where's your friend? The guy who was with you earlier. Mike, you want to go pick up our other friend. So you're alone here right now, huh? Yeah, but my friend's on will be back soon. You're not gonna hurt me, right? Storms like storms like this bring out all kinds of folks. Okay? Not all of them know when to stay away. Okay. Fuck! Go away. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Who are you? Who are you? Everything's okay, miss. Awful, awful late tip for. T uh. Awful late for texting, isn't it? Who are you talking to? You're not Rick, are you? What did you just say? This is my fucking house and I'll leave when I want. Get out. Oh. You need to leave right now. I don't think so. If anyone is leaving this house, it'll be one of us. Oh. Oh shit. Mm. Oh. Oh. Okay, that was the wrong thing to do. Okay, so doing that was wrong, clearly. I shouldn't have done that.
shit. Go, go, go. Oh, fuck. Maybe I was supposed to hang up the phone, like, faster, maybe? supposed to hide over here. He may or may not come up here. I mean, come on, shoot me a text or something. What did he do? Are you alright? Just got done talking with other guests on the phone. Call 911. But where did he go? I'm not trying to. If I jump down here, I might die. I'm finna get clocked on the head, bruh. Yes, I'm safe. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> that I told them everything that happened after Mike left. Rick had called the cops. The storm had quiet down by the time they arrived. And of course, the man was nowhere to be seen. Our drive back, the whole night played over and over in my head. We think that the man we saw secretly lived in the cabin when it wasn't being used and planned on robbing us during our stay. But the cops seemed to think there was more intent behind the man's actions aside from just robbing us. Rick asked me what the man looked like and after, I, after he didn't ask any more questions, we think he knew more than he was letting on. But in the end, he gave us a full refund. 
nice. Almost dying for a hundred dollars? That's that's decent. And we got our money back? What? Oh, oh my gosh. This, this was a scary, scary experience to say the least. The, these these like stories and fears to fathom never fail to disappoint they're all good in their own way i love them all but um if you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and leave a like subscribe and i'll uh, catch you guys in the next one